Have you ever wondered how a company that once just made graphics cards for gamers suddenly became more valuable than Apple, Microsoft, and even Google? How did NVIDIA, a name once only known to PC builders, rise to dominate AI, data centers, and the future of computing itself? This isn't just a story of success. It's a story of perfect timing, bold vision, and a market explosion no one fully saw coming. Only four companies in the world are worth over $2 trillion. Apple, Microsoft, the oil company Saudi Aramco, and as of 2024, Nvidia. It's normal if the name is unfamiliar. The company doesn't manufacture flashy products you hold all day like Apple does. Nvidia makes a chip hidden deep inside a computer's sophisticated innards, a niche product more people use every day. In 2019, Nvidia was worth $100 billion. The AI frenzy enabled its extraordinary speed run to 20 times that already impressive size. NVIDIA may be the biggest AI winner. ChatGPT producer OpenAI, which popularized this fixation, is worth $80 billion. While Grandview Research estimates that the global AI business was worth less than $200 billion in 2023. Both are minuscule compared to NVIDIA, now that everyone is watching NVIDIA's incredible growth, the question is whether it can stay on top. Here's how it got there. In 1993, three Silicon Valley electrical engineers founded a business that focused on video games, a fast-growing niche of personal computers. NVIDIA was founded to design graphics cards, sometimes known as GPUs, which enable computer screens to display 3D graphics. A higher graphics card renders high-quality images faster, which is vital for gaming and video editing. NVIDIA stated in its 1999 prospectus that its success depended on the rise of 3D graphics-based computer applications. For most of its history, NVIDIA focused on game graphics. Creative Strategies CEO and lead analyst Ben Bogarin said NVIDIA was relatively isolated to a niche part of computing in the market until recently. NVIDIA, an entertainment industry giant that made over $180 billion last year, understood it should expand beyond video game graphics cards. However, another bet paid out and made NVIDIA the topic of the day. CUDA, a programming language developed in 2006, unleashed the power of its graphics cards for general computation. Amazon established its cloud computing company in 2006, and NVIDIA's drive into general computing coincided with the global growth of data center. NVIDIA's rise is remarkable because Intel was Silicon Valley's chip giant for most of its history. Intel makes CPUs, GPUs, and semiconductors. But after a series of blunders, including not spending enough in AI chip research, its dominance has diminished. In 2019, NVIDIA's market value was just over $100 billion. Their competitors were asleep at the wheel, says DA Davidson Company's senior analyst Gil Luria. NVIDIA has long said that GPUs are superior for accelerated computing. NVIDIA has four key markets, gaming, professional visualization, such as 3D modeling, data centers, and the automobile industry, which uses its self-driving chip technology. Gaming generated $5.5 billion in revenue a few years ago, ahead of data centers at $2.9 billion. The pandemic began, Gaming income for the corporation in fiscal year 2021 rose 41% as people spent more time at home and bought more computer hardware, particularly GPUs. NVIDIA went public in 1999 with 250 workers. The number is now over 27,000. NVIDIA CEO and founder Jensen Wang's net worth is $70 billion, up 1,700% 1, since 2019. Even if you don't realize it, you've probably used NVIDIA goods. NVIDIA chips were used in PlayStation 3 and Xbox, while the Nintendo Switch employs a mobile chip. Mid- to high-end laptops often have NVIDIA graphics cards. With the AI boom, the company hopes to become increasingly integrated into daily tech. Tesla cars self-driving function and most internet businesses' cloud computing services use NVIDIA chips. These services power much of our internet use, from Netflix to office software. OpenAI used tens of thousands of NVIDIA AI chips to train ChatGPT. We underestimate how much we utilize AI daily, since we don't know that AI boosts certain of our automated tasks. NVIDIA can charge exorbitant fees due to huge demand. AI data center chips, 
cost tens of thousands of dollars. Think of NVIDIA as the AI chip Birkin bag. AMD is selling an identical CPU to Microsoft for ten dollars to $15,000, a tenth of NVIDIA's price. Not only the AI chips either, NVIDIA's gaming industry is booming and its high-end gaming card is becoming more expensive than AMD's. NVIDIA's advocates say its huge advantage was won by prematurely betting that AI will take over the world. Its chips are worth the price because of its superior software and the fact that so much AI infrastructure has been developed around it. However, Eric Pinert, a research manager and editor at the American Economic Liberties Project, who helped write a recent chip industry competition report, notes that NVIDIA's price has risen because TSMC, the world's largest semiconductor maker, has struggled to meet demand for years. The CEO of Grok, an AI chip startup, told the Wall Street Journal that customers were afraid NVIDIA would delay their orders if it learned they were meeting with other chip makers. The biggest challenge for NVIDIA is that customers want to compete. NVIDIA invested in the AI business before others did, but its market share isn't unshakable. Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, and Google, all of whom employ NVIDIA chips, are battling a growing army of competitors. The biggest challenge for NVIDIA is that their customers want to compete, adds Luria. Customers want a piece of NVIDIA's huge profits, but they can't afford to keep paying so much. Microsoft went from spending less than 10% of their capital expenditure on NVIDIA to spending nearly 40%, Luria says. Not sustainable. Over 70% of AI chips are acquired from NVIDIA, which worries antitrust regulators worldwide. That acquisition was pretty clearly intended to get control over a software architecture that most of the industry relied on, says Pinert. The fact that they have so much pricing power and little effective competition is a significant concern. Whether NVIDIA remains a $2 trillion corporation or grows much higher hinges on consumer and investor interest in AI. Silicon Valley has many new AI firms, but how many will succeed and how long will investors keep investing? The public became interested in AI because ChatGPT was easy to use or show off on social media. Many AI projects still focus on training rather than inferencing, which entails employing learned AI models to complete a task like ChatGPT answering a user's question or facial recognition software identifying persons. NVIDIA's dominance may decline as AI inferencing grows and reduces the demand for high-performance CPUs. Some financial analysts and industry experts are wary about NVIDIA's sky-high value, fearing AI enthusiasm may fade and that AI chip production may be overfunded. Since May, ChatGPT traffic has plummeted and investors are reducing their money flow. NVIDIA's revenue rose 126% to $60 billion last year. For contrast, Amazon has a lower market value than NVIDIA, but produced roughly $575 billion in sales last year. Its high valuation and stock price are predicated on that revenue and expected growth. Bajoran wonders if NVIDIA can keep offering real hardware and software advances to sell its latest AI chips. Despite these challenges, NVIDIA will soon become as well-known as Apple and Google. AI fever is why NVIDIA is a trillion-dollar company. But AI may also be big because of NVIDIA. If you love deep dives into tech success stories, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications. We've got more game-changing stories coming your way.